the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of one piece all right so last episode uh last couple episodes uh robin's got wings frankie's got the juice sanji's a penguin dog zoro's a a ballerina i think <laughs> uh we met gecko moria he kind of has a weird body kind of shaped like a jelly bean type shit okay but he currently has Luffy captured, and he also wants to activate experiment, experiment 900. 900 experiments, bro. That's definitely some evil mad scientist shit. And apparently this one is supposed to be, you know, like Lilo and Stitch number 225 type shit. So might be a little scary, but we'll find out. And I'm going to go ahead and guess he wants to put Luffy's shadow in that one. And if somehow that, that, that experiment 900 can handle Luffy's rubber power it's gonna be a little scary it's gonna be a little scary so we'll see you know um we got spider monkeys we got brooke who finally showed up and can also do the same technique that these other swordsmen the, the other zombie swordsmen all right so it's definitely brooke's technique i didn't know he was that strong my bad you know when luffy invited him to the crew i felt like he was jumping the gun um, but now that I think about it, we need a musician that can fight. This guy's kind of perfect. You know? I didn't think we would uh, we would possibly be getting another swordsman. Because it's kind of redundant. Um, but whatever. You know? Maybe they're setting up for him and, Zoro to do, him and Zoro to do a 2v2. Or maybe him and Zoro to duel. I don't know. But then again, Brooke might just be an evil guy. I have no idea. I'm just going off of what I've seen so far. And seeing Luffy invite him. And seeing Brooke's backstory. It's all sad. It's kind of all fitting together. Um, and we also just invited someone to our crew too. So it's a little fast on everything. But... Who knows? The pacing on One Piece is all over the place. It's good pacing uh, in general, though, for like world building and all that kind of stuff. So I don't I have no complaints. But anyway, that's where we are in the story. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is One Piece episode 349. If you guys are not a member of the channel, members get early access to these reactions. And I'm something like at least 100 episodes ahead. All right. So if you want to go ahead and become a member, you want to click that join button down below. OK. And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. Also, early access over there. All right. Otherwise, you can always just like, comment, subscribe on the channel. Um, hit that bell for notifications and the algorithms. And of course, join my Discord if you haven't already. OP349. Let's get it. What the fuck? How did he do that? Is he a Shinigami from Bleach? <laughs> I thought only Bleach people can, do, people can do that. Okay, Brooke, my bad. Not only did he defeat the Spider Monkey, but he returned the soul or shadow living inside of him. Shit. Teach us, please. Oh, I see. So he's got some history here. He was here five years ago, and apparently he did some shit. And that's probably when he got his shadow taken away? Okay, it's all coming together. More, A little bit more of the backstory. But I don't have any skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to catch on to his humor. Alright. That didn't take long. Okay. 
So he saw the same stuff that we were we were introduced to, just like everyone else that got somehow trapped here, got their shadows taken away. So he literally takes people's shadows and cuts them off? Bro. He definitely has some kind of devil fruit that does that, right? That's not normal. You can't just touch someone's shadow. Like, physically. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I like how, even though this is silly, it's showing that the same person is going inside with the same mannerisms and the way they act. That that this little silly dance shows that, so that's a nice little detail. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Shadow, shadow fruit. It wasn't that hard to guess. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this shadow fruit has similar powers to the darkness fruit, right? They're both kind of in the same realm. So if we somehow be Gekko Moria, we might have some way to be Blackbeard. <laughs> Dude, he's like, he's silly, but this is like a real, this shit is real, bro. Can he, can he chill? He, he also got his shadow taken away. He needs to stop dancing around. I get it. He's a musician and all, but fuck. <laughs> but I like that though. He is, uh, you know, he's high spirits, even though his life got ruined, right? That's, that's a pretty good mindset. There he is. Gecko Moria. He does have a weird ass body. Bro, his head is like 10 times smaller than the rest of his jelly bean ass. What the fuck? <laughs> but there he is, y'all. He's he's big as fuck. Definitely not a normal person. He got a shadow shadow fruit. Okay. And he's got much like uh, so many other characters in One Piece, a weird ass laugh. Kush, 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 kush. Something like that, you know. It's pretty convenient that this little stuffed animal bear thing isn't allowed to talk. So therefore, he's not spilling the beans on, you know, Usopp, Nami, and Chopper being inside of him fucking doing agent work. <laughs> Why the fuck? Wait, why is... Ch I know the... <laughs> why does Chopper stick out his legs? Does he not know how to peek? What the fuck? I guess he actually did. He's been doing that. Is that his thing? I know everyone has their own little thing. Like Zoro doesn't know directions. Shit like that. Okay. <laughs> Dude, Chopper's got to be the most adorable anime character. Oh, 
今おめえらを集めたのは記念すべき大戦力の誕生を共に祝おうってんじゃねえかああ Dude, Gecko Moria? His voice reminds me of like Frieza. The same skin tone also too. <laughs> Did Luffy really chew through some steel bars, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> the negative ghost, I know, I get it. Come on. Ooh. <clears throat> are, are, are we sure those negative ghosts don't exist in real life? And they just... Bipolar people, <laughs> bro. I, I, every time that shit happens, that just reminds me of like it happening to me or someone that I know. Whoa. Oh my god. He literally rips the shadow off the ground with his hands. Damn. And there goes Luffy. Shit. And he's right. Luffy is now worth 300 mil. So... It can't be easy getting these a hundred mils worth of shadows, but he just got a big draw. I'm afraid of what kind of fucking experiment he's about to make, dude. Because whatever he's about to make, we're probably going to have to fight it. And it's going to have Luffy's soul inside of it? Dude, what the fuck? And Lu here's the thing about Luffy. He does not stop. He's always on go. So whatever the fuck he's about to put his shadow in. Oh my god. It could be a little, it could be a fucking chapstick. It will go at us hard. <laughs> okay, pause. Um, all right. So we met Gecko Moria. He's a big man. I don't even know if he's a man. He's, he's shaped like a fucking jelly bean. He talks like Frieza. He's got a weird laugh like everyone else. <laughs> okay. And he, he can literally touch your shadow physically and rip it and cut it with some scissors. Granting you unconscious for who knows how long. Jesus Christ, bro. That's definitely a weird ass power. But if it works, it works. And now the question is What is Experiment 900? And how is Luffy's shadow going to affect it? Because Luffy has the will of a king. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he leads by action, not by words. He just does. He just does. You know? He is the Nike logo reincarnate. And putting that into something evil? That is a terrifying thought, actually. Because we got to fight that bitch. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. Um, convenient for Soap Chopper and Nami to be inside of a peanut that cannot talk or is not allowed to talk. Um, those negative ghosts give me trauma. A little bit of PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> from those but yeah man we just gotta wait and see what he's gonna do what he's gonna do with it brooke gave us a little bit more a little bit more uh info okay he's been here before try to get his shadow back right or rather try to fix his fix his ship that's when you guys got his shadow taken you know what i'm saying um you guys probably hear the cat meowing she i think she wants to play but anyway that's gonna be it for this reaction y'all if y'all enjoyed that episode just as much as I did, go and hit that like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And of course, hit the bell for notifications and the algorithms. And of course, join my Discord if you haven't already. If you're not a member of the channel, members get early access to these reactions. And I'm something like at least 100 episodes ahead, all right? So if you want to go ahead and become a member, you want to click that join button down below. And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. On that Patreon, you can find the full version of all the One Piece reactions so far, and so many other TV shows and animes. All right, also early access over there as well. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all on the next episode of One Piece. Bye, right, peace.